It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Viru and it's a bottle of their white IPA coming in at 4.8% ABV in a 330 milliliter bottle. White bottle cap. An interesting looking bottle. Looks a little bit like, what does that look like? If that was a building, it'd look like a very kind of, it'd look a bit like Blackpool Tower, wouldn't it? Or some kind of strange looking pyramid. Uh, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides to it. Is that a hexagon? Hex, hexagon. I think it might be a hex. Is it eight a hexagon? I can't remember. I haven't been in school for such a long time. Uh, and that is indeed a silver bottle cap. So without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Estonian craft beer. And there we go. We got a two finger white head, uh, good levels of carbonation, a slightly hazy kind of, it almost looks like lemon drop, doesn't it? Like a straw coloured, hazy looking white IPA. It looks, it looks pretty good to be honest. Nice levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. The head is sticking there nicely. You rock the beer around you can see the carbonation chasing that head of the glass we can have a better look at that again but nice even carbonation small carbonation um a, a, an old brewer once told me the smaller the bubble the better the beer and old jim robinson i don't know if old jim robinson's still around uh, drinking beer if you're watching jim he used to be the head brewer of wells and young's when they were when they were still called wells and youngs um hello to you jim let's get the aroma on this beer oh before i do so i better mention my channel sponsor beers of uk largest online beer store in the uk with a fantastic range of beer from all over the world and um, there's a direct link in the description box to take you to the website beers of uk where it will take you to this beer, this white IPA, and you can order it. As long as you live in the UK, you can order it straight away. So check the link out in the description box. I'm going to get on with this beer review. Let's get the aroma. Mm. Do you know what? That's... Uh... interesting kind of piney aroma here with this beer piney kind of citrusy orange peel lemon peel a little bit of grapefruit it smells like cascade the cascade hop it smells good let's dive in cheers everybody Oh, 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 that's interesting. It's really quite, well, first of all, for 4.8% ABV, it's very refreshing. You, you can feel the carbonation pushing the beer around the inside of the mouth, releasing more of that flavour. And then it's all about the, there's, there's quite a big end to the beer. It, there's a nice amount of bitterness that comes, it's like a slow charge, um, a bit like a horse and cat getting up to speed and then it's able to carry on for miles and miles and miles carrying its load. It's just, it's the momentum, the, the momentum of the bitterness just, just keeps rolling and rolling and rolling on the palate. But 
but to begin with you got a little bit of sweetness from the the malt a light kind of crisp wafer like bready malt that's coming through and then you get a little bit of orange peel and fleshy blood orange and grapefruit and then there comes that kind of first of all a touch of spice and then a nice rolling bitterness that just keeps coming and coming and coming mm, it's it's an interesting brew really interesting brew now i can wash it round in the glass and get that carbonation going look at that it's a pleasant surprise this um I remember doing the original Viru beer cool, years and years ago now because I found the bottle interesting. I was in my local bottle shop in Cardiff and I come across this thinking that's really interesting. And I know if you go around Sweden, Norway, Denmark, the, the, the larger regional breweries there. So I'll, I'll use Hansa as an example over there in Norway. Hansa do a white IPA. Hansa's like your regional brewer, they produce a lot of lager and it's probably the number one selling lager brand in Norway but correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but they also do like, they do an IPA and a white IPA as a bit of a sub-brand, as a bit of a branch off in into a different direction. And this reminds me of the Hansa White IPA, in that you're not going to start dancing around your kitchen. You know, this is the best IPA I've ever had in my life. But certainly for a cheap and cheerful midweek white IPA with, with with enough flavour and enough spiciness and pepperiness and lemon because I bet this is I bet this is on sale in Estonia for a very reasonable price um I don't know an awful lot about the beer but it just it just if I'm going to use my experience I'm going to use my experience to say that that the Hansa white IPA from Norway probably has a very very similar footprint to this beer where you can walk into any off license or any shop for that matter that sells beer and you can pick up pick up this white ipa for a very reasonable price that's where i see it sitting and it's okay it's a nice beer there's a there's no off flavors there's nothing kind of like where you go, Oof, there's something wrong with this beer, and there's enough hops in there, enough of the malt, a nice balance between that kind of sweetness and the bitterness. I'm impressed with that. I am I am quite impressed with that, Viru White IPA. I need to know a little bit more about this brewery. They seem a really interesting. Uh, they're based in Panu, in Tallinn, Estonia. Distributed in the UK by Baltic Beer Company. Oh, there we go. 4.8% ABV. Should we rate it? Should we rate it? I like it. I like the bottle. I like the presentation. I like the look. I like the smell. It's a nice beer. It's a nice, nice beer. I like that enough to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!